Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's video, we're diving into the newly released Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large and comparing it to Flux, another popular model in the AI art community. If you're interested in AI image generation, you're in the right place. We'll explore the strengths, weaknesses, and potential of these two models to find out which one suits your needs best. Stick around to see some live tests and insights. Let's kick things off by talking about the new kit on the block Stable Diffusion 3.5 Large. Released on October 22nd, SD 3.5 is a base model with a lot of promise. Unlike distilled models like Flux, which are more fine-tuned for specific tasks, SD 3.5 is more versatile and designed for various styles and artistic approaches. SD 3.5 delivers on photorealistic portraits, impasto, watercolor, and even anime styles. It's great for creating a wide variety of artistic styles and has strong potential in blending realism with abstract art. The model handles prompts with surprising accuracy, even with complex instructions like combining anime and photorealism. Being a base model means it's incredibly customizable, and with community-driven training, it can improve over time. Now let's talk about Flux. Flux is a distilled model meaning it's already fine-tuned for specific tasks like upscaling and generating high-resolution images. This gives it an edge when you need high-quality, large-scale images without much fuss. Flux is designed for high-resolution output, something that SD 3.5 struggles with at larger image sizes. The model is great for precise object interactions, making it ideal for commercial projects where accuracy is key. Now let's compare these models in some key areas. One, aesthetic versatility. SD 3.5 stands out here as it can generate a wider variety of styles, from realistic portraits to abstract art. On the other hand, Flux is more rigid but excels in specific high quality outputs. Two, resolution and scalability. Flux wins hands down in this area. SD 3.5 is limited to about 1 megapixel images and struggles when generating larger ones, while Flux handles high-resolution outputs efficiently. 3. Customization and Future Potential SD 3.5 has massive potential thanks to its open-source nature. It's a model that can grow with community input, making it an exciting prospect for developers who want to fine-tune their own versions. No model is perfect, and that includes both SD 3.5 and Flux. Despite its strengths, SD 3.5 has trouble with anatomy, particularly hands and legs, and struggles with complex object interactions like holding a knife or performing dynamic poses. It also hits a ceiling with its resolution, making it less suited for large-scale projects without external upscaling tools. Flux, while excellent at high-res and object interactions, is not as flexible or versatile as SD 3.5. It's designed to be highly specific and optimized for certain tasks, which means it's less adaptable for artists who want to experiment with different styles. Now let's put these models to the test. I'm going to run a few different prompts through both models and show you the results. First, a photorealistic portrait. Watch how SD 3.5 delivers smooth skin tones and realistic details, while Flux ups the ante with higher resolution. Next, an anime style illustration. Here, SD 3.5 shines, especially with its strong ties to anime style generation thanks to Lion's involvement in training. Flux, while capable, doesn't quite match the versatility and style here. Finally, let's look at hands and object interactions. SD 3.5 continues to struggle with anatomy while Flux handles the objects more gracefully. So, is Stable Diffusion 3.5 large better than Flux? Well, it depends on what you need. If you're looking for versatility, artistic freedom, and the potential to train and customize, SD 3.5 is your go-to. However, if you need high-quality, large-scale images right out of the box, Flux is the more reliable option. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, or you'd like to see more in-depth tutorials on SD 3.5 or Flux, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more AI content. I'll see you in the next video.